Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do um, maybe a simple kind of Valentine's Day inspired look. I don't know how simple it's going to be <laughs> because um, I actually wanted to use my Violet Boss Coral Crush palette and I don't really know what I'm going to do. But yeah, so I don't know. I say simple now, but it might turn into something else. Um, so I already have my base on and I don't like <laughs> how it looks. I used my Benefit The Professional The Hydrate Primer. I used it with the Rare Beauty Foundation and it looks really bad. But um, I also have to say that I've been using a retinol serum and I think that might be what the issue is because um, the first day I used it, like the next day, my skin was all peeling and I think it's still peeling a bit because I've only used it twice and like when you use retinol, you're supposed to like gradually go into it. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I just don't like how it looks. So if you see that my skin is all <laughs> flaky, yeah, I know. Uh, so yeah. Um, <laughs> what else? Yeah, I already have the primer, the foundation, and I put some concealer and powder, my usual like Becca under eye powder. And I also don't like that how that looks either. <laughs> so let's just ignore the base today. But I want to use this for my eyes, like I said. And the rest, I don't know, I'll try to use what's in my shop, my stash if I feel it's Valentine's Day appropriate. And yeah, let's just be in, I guess. I actually didn't put my primer on, so let me do that. It's the Urban Decay Primer Potion, as usual. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I actually might do two um, Valentine's Day looks. I just like Valentine's Day theme things um, to begin with. But also the makeup um, that's been coming out this year, I feel like it's, I don't know, I'm really intrigued by everything. So I'm trying to not buy more makeup, I'm trying to use what I have. So I think like I'm trying to talk myself out of buying like the new Natasha Denona makeup for example. But I might pick up something and I'm pretty excited because our stores are opening again where I live, so I might get to go to Sephora, which is kind of exciting. I know you can shop online, but for me, I don't like buying makeup online unless I've seen it in the store first, because I just feel like I need to see things in person. So yeah, I might pick up some things, and depending how I feel, I might do another look because it's only the, what day is it? I think it's the 8th when I'm filming this, so there's still time. And I think most of us aren't going anywhere <laughs> for Valentine's Day um, because like the restaurants are still not fully open, at least where I am. You can only do takeout, so I think most people are having like a Valentine's Day thing at home and even if you're not celebrating I just think the makeup is fun to do <laughs> so yeah um, I just put the this like cream shade pina colada on first just to give myself like a base to work with and I think I want to go in with the shade Coral Crush this the shade that the palette is named after. I'm gonna use this brush. It's brand new that I got from BoxyCharm. It's a Moda brush from Royal and Line Nickel, but there's no, oh yeah, it says crease, but there's no number on it, I think. Anyway, it's just like a generic crease brush. So far these shades have like no kick up in the pan, so, yeah. I've never used this palette until now. I haven't even swatched it, so I have no idea what to expect. Oh, I like that 
color though. I kind of want to like bring it out a bit further. To me this is more like a pink shade. I don't know, maybe I just don't know what coral is. <laughs> but I feel like coral is more like a peachy pink normally. This is like a true pink. Hmm. There's um, a lot of shades I could go for now. I'm not really sure what to do. Um, well, I want to make it like a really like a pink look. I feel like this year the theme is like really pink. Because sometimes Valentine's Day is like can kind of be like about reds and purples but I feel this year pink is like the trending color and yeah I like pink makeup so I'm into it I think I want to use the shade peachy across my lid I think there was some shadow already on this brush <sighs> Oh no. Yeah, because that is definitely not peach. <laughs> what did I do? Oh no. Oh dear. There might have been blue, but I did not see it. So something really weird happened just there. Let me use my color switch knockoff. Okay, I'm back. Um. <laughs> I had to start over because that was not the color that it should have been. So now you can see, um, I just redid everything. I had to do my primer and the base and I went back in with the Coral Crush. And then this is what the actual peachy shade looks like. Um, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. So yeah, I actually really like how the shimmers are in this palette. I like when they're um really smooth across the lid and like easy to blend and not chunky so yeah i'm happy with that but um i don't want to go like super peachy either so i'm going to go in with this shade also passion looks really pretty i think i'm gonna have to clean my brushes because this is not good. So this one I'm focusing more like from the middle to the outer corner because it's a bit like deeper as well. I think this shade is almost like a duochrome. It has like a gold shift. Yeah, it's bringing it back to more of a pink which is what I intended. And then in like the inner corner I think I want to use this glow up shade. I can't really tell what that's going to look like on my eye, but we'll find out. It's kind of like a taupe, but it has pink, like a pink shift in it. So now I want to go back in with like a smaller crease brush to put some of that Coral Crush shade back into the crease and I do want to deepen it up a bit too so I'm gonna go in with the shade reef so it's like a coral but like a deeper coral it's hard to explain <laughs> the shades in this palette because obviously it's called the coral crush palette so the theme is coral so it's like different variations of coral but like how many descriptors can you say? <laughs> yeah, I like that better. I do kind of feel like I blended some of the shimmer away now though. So I might go in with my finger and just put some of that peachy shade in the middle like so I 
think this looks a lot <laughs> like the look I did with the Nikki Tutorials um, palette. So, yeah. I think on the bottom uh, lash line, I don't want to use the pink because I don't want to have like too much pink all around my eye. So I'm going to go back with the shade Wreath on a small pencil brush like this. I really like the mattes in this palette actually. I think I've only used Violet Voss shadows once before and that, that's if I'm remembering correctly because I got a Violet Voss palette in my BoxyCharm, The Essentials. I think I used that one, but I honestly don't remember really much about it. So yeah, if this is what her formula is usually like, I really like how the mattes blend, um, especially for matte shades that have like no kick up. Like if you can see, looks like I didn't even use it. Usually um, that means they won't, they won't be as pigmented, but I think for these ones, I really like it, so yeah, that's good. Um, I just want to go back in with that glow up shade for the lower inner corner. I might go in with my highlighter after because this shade is actually not like super brightening for an inner corner, but that is kind of the lightest shade in the palette, this one here, because the rest are coral, so. <laughs> you could also use the matte shade for the highlight, but I like to use shimmer usually. I think that's all I want to do. Um, so yeah, I have to do the same on the other eye. And I'll come back to finish the rest of the face. Okay, so I did the other eye, as you can see. I also did my brows and my mascara off camera, as usual, because it's boring. Um, but I'm trying, because when I rearranged all my makeup, you may have seen some of the videos. I'm not done um, filming them, but... Yeah, when I did that, I found some things that I want to use up. So one of them was my Benefit Cabral. And I really like the color of this, but it's just like, I feel like it's a lot of work. Because you have to like go in with the pomade, use the brush. There's one built in to the cap, which I use this, but you can use your own brush, but it's just easier. Um, and then like you have to make sure like you stay in the lines and then you need a separate spoolie, at least I do, to actually like brush it through so it just ends up taking me longer but yeah I'm just trying to get some more use out of it before it's completely dried. Um, and I'm also trying to use up my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara um, which looks good at first but it ends up flaking all over by the end of the day but I'm actually not going to leave my house today <laughs> anymore so I want to test what happens if you just like sit down with this on is it still going to flake everywhere um I think that's it oh and I put my Tarte Fake Awake this um yeah Fake Awake it's like a nude liner I put on my waterline just to make my eyes look more alive especially when you well at least like for green eyes when you put pink or like red eyeshadows I feel like it could start to look a bit like you have pink eye <laughs> so I put the nude liner just to like brighten things up um, but yeah, I think that's it, and we're just going to do blush now. And I actually had this blush in my Shop My Stash. It's the Creamy Stick Jelly from VDL, and I think this would be a cute shade to go with this eye look. And I 
didn't put any powder like on my actual face so it should be fine because it is a cream product. I think I'm just going to put it directly on my face and blend it out. I don't remember. Oh, this smells good. That's like a fruity scent maybe? But yeah, I don't remember how I liked this product. That is like a baby pink. I'm gonna see if this blends with a sponge. Yeah, it does. That is very, very pink. But it's blending out really easily. Oh, I really like it actually. Yeah. That's really nice. It blended out super easy. So for highlighter, I actually already did a look with my Natasha Denona Love Glow palette last year. If you want to check it out, I'll link it below. So I won't use that again, but that is very Valentine's Day themed, obviously. But actually this that I just picked up to use as the mirror, this is quite Valentine's Day-ish as well. Um, so this is an option. What else do I have in here? I think I do want to use this because the other highlighter in my shop, my stash, is my Becca Opal, but that's more like a gold champagne. I kind of want to stay in like the pinkish theme. Yeah, I will use this because, I, as you can tell, I haven't got much use out of it. This is the MAC um, Star Dipped Face Compact in Light. It's from Holiday, not la not this past Holiday, but the one before. Um, yeah, I do think I want to use this. I'm going to use this Sephora Pro Fan Detail Brush. I'm going to use this shade here, which I'm trying to see what it's called. Um, yeah, so these two are blushes. They're extra dimension blushes in Dipped in Stars and Sippin' on Stars. And these are extra dimension skin finishes in show gold and high sequency. Yeah, so this one is definitely show gold, but I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like a pinky gold. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm so sad to like ruin the design on this. <laughs> oh dear. But it's hard to come off. These are so like hard pressed in the pan. Yeah, that's definitely a pinky gold. I don't know if you can see the shift on camera. Wow, it's very pink in person. I just, this maybe wasn't the best brush for this formula, but I don't have anything. It's like you need something scratchy. You need like a natural bristle brush, but I don't think I... Is this natural? I have no idea. But most of my brushes are synthetic, so... I feel like it's only picking up the glitter and not the actual, like, base, if you know what I mean. I think that's all I want to do. Do I want to put some of this white in my inner corner? Let's just try with the finger. Ooh, that's pretty. I just felt like it needed some more brightness there. I'm kind of tempted to put a bit of this blush um, as a topper. Mm, let's try it. I don't know. Oh yeah, that is... That's cute. <laughs> Has a nice sheen. Ok, 
Okay, I think that's enough. Or else I'm gonna look like a whole pink face. Um, oh, and I didn't put bronzer on. Whoops. Sometimes I totally forget about bronzer. I have the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face, which has three bronzers. Did I only pull this? This is the only bronzer I pulled? Oh, I guess, okay, th this is what we're using then. Uh, I think since I'm kind of sparkly everywhere else, <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, the shade Son of a Bee, which is the matte bronzer. Uh, I'm gonna use this powder brush from Billion Billion Dollar Brushes from a Boxy Charm. Whoa, that picked up a lot of pigment. Ooh, this is like the softest brush I've ever felt. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit big for bronzer. Well, it is powder brush, but I never put powder like all over my face because my skin's so dry. So I tend to just end up using these as bronzer brushes. Okay, that's better. I added some like warmth back in. I like that bronzer. I like this whole palette actually. I got it in a boxy time as I do most products that I have. So yeah. Oh, I feel like I put earrings on this whole time. Foolish. <laughs> oh, I'm forgetting everything today. I didn't put any lip product on. <laughs> Probably because my lips are so pink naturally, I just forgot about it. But yeah, we have to put product on. I just have lip balm. But um, first I'll put my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray and hope to not get it in my eyeballs. This one you have to hold very far from your face, I've noticed. And just like let it fall because it's very, the spray is like right in your face. Right, so for lips. What do I want to do? I'm very tempted to just use my Fenty Cream Honey Waffles. That could be an option. Oh, but I have these. I have these Tarte um, Maracuya Juicy Lips. This one is Holiday Spritz Buttered Rum and Mary Martini. Mm -hmm. Well, I think since they're so pink on the eyes, um, I'm not going to use this Mary Martini shade. So it's between Holiday Spritz and Buttered Rum. I think I want to use the Buttered Rum. So I've, I haven't even swatched these yet. It's the kind of thing that you have to click but then you have to make sure to not click it up too much because it doesn't go back in. So let me just do like one click for now. I don't, I don't smell anything. Wow. Ooh, I really like these. You know why? This is very similar. It might even be the same formula as their, um, Oh, what do you call them? I think they're called quench, quench hydrating lip balms. You know what, I'll just go get it because I don't know. So these things, um, these are the ta la 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 la. quench lip rescue. It feels the same as that, but I think they're just more like pigmented. I really like these. I don't know what this smells like. It's almost like it has a very faint, fruity coconut smell, but I don't know. I could be imagining that. But these are one of my favorite lip products. I have um, the shade Rose. Yeah, Rose. I have the clear one. 
so I mean it's just clear but I love the packaging um, I also have another one where is it oh I think it's in my purse so that's how much I like these and um, that one's more like a nude so yeah these are really good and this feels the same but maybe like a tiny bit thicker and more pigmented but I really like these and I really like that color yay so this is the set that I got for the holidays it was like a three pack and I said in that video like I bet they're coming out with a whole line of these and they did I haven't looked at them on Sephora yet so I don't know what the colors are um, but yeah, these ones were probably limited edition, but I would definitely get more if I didn't already have three of them. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that is it. So this is my somewhat simple <laughs> Valentine's Day look. Very pinky, peach, coral vibes, and I do really love this palette. Um, yeah, you can see like how smooth the shimmers are. That's my favorite kind of shimmer formula um i don't know how i feel about the mac star dipped palette i need to find a brush that applies it better um i really like the blush though and i really liked the bdl creamy stick creamy stick jelly and yeah i think that's the only thing to say and the bronzer i like the bronzer <laughs> so I just wanted to quickly mention some other palettes that I think have like a Valentine's theme and maybe if you have them already um, you also will just use what you have and not feel like you need to buy all the new stuff if you're like me so I'm just going to gather those okay so I have some palettes here I will just mention this one quickly because I don't think many people have it it's the Buff Collection by Pure Cosmetics. This kind of pure, not P-U-R. But this is an exact dupe of the Urban Decay Naked 3. Yes, Naked 3 palette. So if you have this one, I feel like this is very Valentine's, like, romantic, but more neutral. So this is a good one. I also have the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. This one here. Very... I mean, it's called Just Peachy, but it's not that peach. I mean, only this shade, but if you take that shade out, it's more like kind of smoky neutral, like almost purpley. So that's a good one. Then I had this Ace Bote Scarlet Dusk palette. I actually haven't used this one yet, so I can't comment on the formula. But look at this. This is really pretty. This one I kind of threw in here um, just for like different vibes. This is the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. So. Obviously, it's more berry tones, but I feel like this is quite Valentine's Day-ish as well. So here's the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So this one is more, I don't know, like, I was going to say this is more peach than the peachy mattes, but is it? I mean, without this shade, it's quite neutral. So, yeah, there's this one. And then this, so if you guys are looking at the new, the Natasha Denona mini love palette, or if you already have the the big love palette, which I really wanted to get, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, I already have this one, the Natasha, blah, Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. It looks like this. So this one's more like red, red leaning with some yellows. Um, the love palette is more like pinks and purples, but yeah, I really like this one. Oh, and this one, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this palette or the Coral Crush today, but because I already did like a purpley Valentine's Day look, I 
was that two years ago? Wow. Two years ago, I didn't choose this one, but I also have this Berries and Cream palette by Dominique Cosmetics, which is brand new. So this one is more purple, if that's um, colors that you prefer, with a random blue in there. This is the palette that I was just talking about that I did a more purple look. It's the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. This one here. This is like very Valentine's Day to me. Um, but yeah, you could go more pink, more purple with this one. I just have two more, so. The first one is another Too Faced palette, the Natural Love palette. So, very springtime, Valentine's Day. It's a huge one. Looks like this, so pinks and neutrals. Very Too Faced. And then this one, I also haven't used yet. It's the Iconic London Day to Slay. This one here. I really like this color story as well. So yeah, those are some palettes that I have that I feel could be used to do more Valentine's Day looks. And yeah, I don't need any more palettes. Keep telling myself that. <laughs> Um, if you guys want me to do another um, video like this where I talk about like more like makeup that I have, what themes I feel like it fits into, I have even more stuff that I feel is Valentine's that I feel is Valentine's Day themed, like um, other than palettes like blush and highlighter and stuff. If you want to hear more about that but I feel like this video is probably long enough so yeah that is it for today I hope you liked this video if you did give it a like <laughs> I hate when I do that because my thumbs have, do you guys have thumbs that are like this that go like super crooked anyway give it a like um, if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye